Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can show a delete confirmation message in Laravel. It means when you click on this delete button, it will show us a confirmation message that are in show to delete this. If we click cancel, it won't delete our data. But if we click OK, it will delete our data. And in order to do that, we are going to use suite alert. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to get the suite alert CDN link. So we will say here, suite alert cdn link just search for suite alert cdn link uh, then uh, here you can see cdnjs.com so we'll go over here and we'll just copy this cdn link from here i'll just copy it and after that what we'll do is that we'll go to this page so here you can see slash category page so uh, we'll go to our code and for slash category page, we are calling the admin controller category underscore page and our admin controller category underscore page uh, is returning us to this view admin dot category which is this one. So what we are going to do is that in the head section, we are going to paste the suite alert CDN link which we just copied from here. So we will just paste it inside the head section we'll paste it here then save it after that what we'll do is that we'll go down a little bit more and here you can see we have the delete button so for this delete button we're going to say here on click on click equal to uh, we'll say confirmation to first bracket and we'll say inside this event 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 so we we'll call this event function and we'll write this event function at the end of the footer session so here we're going to write the script tag so we we'll say here script then inside this script uh, i'm just going to copy and paste some code so this is the code we are going to copy and paste don't worry i'll explain this code and i will also give this code in the first comment so that you can also copy and paste the code in your code. So let me just copy this, Control C, and we'll paste it inside this scheme. So we'll paste it over here. So let me just explain it. So what will happen is that uh, here, if someone click on this delete button, it will call this function confirmation event, which is basically this function. Here you can see confirmation event, EV. So after that, first of all, what we'll do is that we'll stop our page from reloading. Then we'll get the href. href means, uh, let me just show you, href means this one. We'll get the href and then uh, we'll just show this URL in the console. And here you can see HWAL, it means suite alert message and this is the message. The title is are you sure to delete this after that the text you will see will be uh, you will not be able to revert this and we'll show an icon which will be awning icon button there will be a button which is true and desert mode it is true so if someone click it and then click ok it will delete the data and if someone click the cancel button then it will keep the user to the same page okay so I will give this code in the first comment, just check it out. So right now, if we just save it, then let's just refresh over here. And then let's delete this one. Here you can see ABC. If I click on this delete button, there you can see it is showing us a pop-up over here. Are you sure to delete this? You won't be able to revert this. So if I click cancel, you don't delete the data. But if I click now, okay, the page will reload and data will be deleted. And after deleting the data, let's just uh, show a message over here that the data is deleted successfully. So for it, what we'll do is that we'll go back to our controller and let me go down and here you can see cat delete. From here, we are deleting the category data. So we'll just show, say over here with to first bracket, to single quotation, we'll say here message, comma, to single quotation, uh, data, or let's say category deleted successfully. 
So this message will be cached uh, over here. Let me just go anything at the top. And in the previous tutorial, we show the message. So here you can see if session has message. So this message will catch over here and show the message that the category needed successfully. Okay. So right now, let me just refresh here again. And let's delete, uh, for example, this one. Click on delete, click OK. And there you can see category deleted successfully. And we can close it. So this is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll update the category name. So make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.